Hey guys, welcome to our Zydax unboxing video. We're gonna walk you through how to take your computer out of the box, what's included, and how to get started. Let's go. First thing you'll need to do is go ahead and cut the tape so you can get at your new computer. And inside, of the main box, there's also going to be a box that the case of the computer is in. There will be some foam corners holding it in place. Make sure to keep all of your original packaging in case you need to send your computer in for warranty service or upgrades. Go ahead and lift the computer box out of the outer box. And then we have one more set of tape to cut. and then the inside of your case box should also have some foam supporting it. Go ahead and lift that out also. And then you can set it down on the ground to start removing the foam and the paper packaging. And now you'll notice on the inside, there's a white foam packet. That's to protect the graphics card and other internal components during shipping. You want to remove this before turning on your computer. Also inside your box, you'll have a small black box or, or a static bag of accessories. So inside, you'll have any extra power supply cables, motherboard supplies, Wi-Fi antennas, and some paperwork. So let's go ahead and take a look. Also, if you chose a t-shirt, your t-shirt will be in here. So for this computer, we have our Wi-Fi antennas, so those will screw into the back of the computer to give you access to internet wirelessly. We've got paperwork and manuals for all the different hardware, and if they came with any stickers or badges, those will be included also. We've got extra cables for your power supply, so if you choose to add a graphics card, hard drive, any extra cables will be there. We've got a power cable to plug it into the wall, and then we've got various other motherboard accessories, and these will depend on your specific model, um, but we've got some extra screws, um, a graphics card support bracket and a few other miscellaneous items and then this motherboard also came with some more stickers and then in the bottom of the box you'll have your folder this is going to have your order information um, the QC paperwork things like that and then it has a quick start guide to go over some of the things I'm showing you if you have any other questions um, as well as the Zydax Gaming Shield activation card so this will have your key for ESET and super anti-spyware um, if you need any help activating that, go ahead and contact our support team. And that uh, is everything that's in the accessory box. All right, and once you've got your system almost ready to go and you've got all your accessories done, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove the side panel to take out the Instapack. On most of our tempered glass cases, there's gonna be four screws all the way around the outside that just come out. Some of the cases have two screws at the back and the panel will slide off. So go ahead and take these screws out and make sure to hold the panel secure while you do this because you don't want to drop it. And carefully set it aside. And then the foam package expands when we put it in, so sometimes you have to wiggle a little bit, but it should just pull right out. And you can set it aside. We also recommend keeping this if you ever need to send your system in for warranty or service. And then the inside of the system is ready. I'll go ahead and show you a few things on the back. First of all, if you have a graphics card, your display ports are gonna be here. They're gonna be below or above the motherboard and they'll be horizontal like this. If you do have a graphics card, make sure to plug in your display here via DisplayPort, HDMI, or possibly DVI. Um, you won't wanna plug it in near any USBs or ethernet on the motherboard because they will be disabled. Um, we've also got our screw-in ports for our Wi-Fi antennas. You'll wanna make sure to install your antennas if you're gonna use wireless internet or Bluetooth if your computer is equipped for it. We've also got a few USB ports, Ethernet if you're going to use wired internet. We've got a Type-C USB port here, an additional network port, and our audio ports. We've also got the power supply here. Um, this is where your power cord will go in. And to turn the system on, you want to make sure it's in the line position. So this is currently on, and that would be off. So just make sure your system's in the on position before you try to power it on. All right, guys, let's go ahead and plug everything in and get gaming. Let's go ahead and connect our peripherals. So we've got our USBs for our keyboard and mouse. We 
got our HDMI cable for our graphics card. We'll go in here. And then if we have Wi-Fi antennas, they would be screwed in here so we can connect to the wireless. Or you can plug in an Ethernet cable here or here to connect to the internet. And we'll go ahead and connect our power cable, flip the switch to on. And we'll go ahead and fire up our computer. And on the first boot, sometimes it'll cycle like that. And then you'll see the screen come up on your monitor. Windows will prompt you to go through a few setup steps. Um, if it asks you for a product key, just skip, click on skip. The key is embedded, it's a digital key, so it'll activate automatically once you're on the internet. If you have any questions about any of this setup, activation, getting your system up and running, getting games installed, feel free to contact technical support. Support at Zydax.com or 1-877-943-2972, option two. Thanks.